This is Dr. Bill Quarter. In the first two presentations, I highlighted two friends of mine, two colleagues, and showed how their life had come out of balance as they moved towards retirement. But my material in my presentation really goes to the 20-year-old, the 30-year-old, the 40-year-old, all through the spectrum years of life. And so for this discussion, I quickly wanted to kind of highlight our children. And as a resource, I wanted to use some observations from my own daughter. Uh, my own daughter is a young woman, um, early 20s. She's a musician and a songwriter, but she also just got a master's in music education. Um, and in that program, what you have to do is you go often into an urban setting and for a couple years, you practice teaching music to young children. Um, ages, I mean, first grade through eighth grade. And it was an eye-opening experience for my daughter because when she was young and going through those grades, um, there was one child in her whole school that had a food allergy. There was another couple children in her school that had uh, behavioral problems, but only a few. Today, it's a totally different world. When she goes into a classroom, um, a bulk of children have food sensitivities. Um, in her prior experience, she, when she was a child, she had no knowledge of EpiPens. You go into schools today, those EpiPens are stocked in the principal's office or the nurse's office. Those are pens to give up if a person has anaphylactic shock or severe bad reaction to a food allergy. So that has totally changed. Um, in addition, the behavioral problems, instead of it being one or two kids in entire school, it's um, a significant number of kids for each classroom. So whether they're autistic or whether they have what used to be called Asperger's syndrome or whether they have ADHD or developmental disorder, what she has seen is the um, change in behavior and health of our children. And so I wanted to highlight that, you know, what I described with my friends is also applicable to our children. And clearly, there are a lot of things that we can't control. Um, I'm not here to debate the causes of those various uh, conditions. I think most of us would agree that we've had significant decline in the quality of our food supply. Most of us would agree that we have significant toxins and chemicals. In the last uh, 50 years, humans have produced 77,000 new chemicals. Um, in the last 50 years, the gluten in bread has increased 40-fold. That's gluten as in glue, just holding the bread together so it's fresh. So we can debate those areas, but those are areas that we don't have much control over. So the question becomes, what do we have control over? And I would go back to balance. If you look at the current statistics in this country, the average father spends, or let me correct that, the, la the average husband uh, spends about eight to 20 minutes a day, one-on-one -on -one with their spouse. The average father spends even less time one-on-one -on -one with the child. And if you're a mother running errands or also working and running errands, the statistics are not much better. So the situation is relatively, I think, very apparent that our children are being neglected and our balance as adults is impacting them, their development, um, their behavior, and I think negatively impacting their life. So when I do this presentation to try to help you redesign your life, I'm not trying to just help you individually. I'm trying to help the entire family. And so the goal is that you have better balance, your family has better balance, and your community has better balance. And I do think that if we can make those changes, um, we can improve the quality of our lives and improve
improve the quality of our children's lives. And if you're a parent, nothing is more important than improving the quality of your children's lives. So those are some of the areas that we're gonna look at, not just those areas that affect the older individuals. We're gonna look at areas that will impact the younger individuals. So again, if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, please um, listen to the pitch on balance and reevaluate your life. And I think if you do, I'm hoping you'll find things in the series of presentations that will make a significant difference in your level of balance, in your level of happiness. So that's my goal, and that's what I think we can do together. Thank you very much um, for listening. Um, if you find this material of interest or of potential value, please subscribe. I'm not selling any product. It's a, just a service. It's a public service trying to make our lives better. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your listening. Um, I wish you the very best. Good health, good balance, and take care.